Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I love love making these long form videos, edited videos. So it's great to be back. Now in flight simulation, thirty dollars these days, it has become a really familiar number. A couple of coffees, you know, aircraft upgrades and stuff. Um, a lot of simmers have recently been deciding whether a thirty dollar aircraft upgrade is worth it or not. And uh, this answer changes depending on who you ask and you know what they are looking to buy the aircraft for and things like that uh, but that naturally makes us stop and think um, where is the $30 best spent if, if you just have $30 to spend on the flight sim if that's the case there are bigger problems though <laughs> because uh, there's an add-on another add-on at the exact same price point that doesn't change one airplane but instead changes every flight you fly in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 and that is Chase Plane and uh, if you already own Chase Plane for uh, MSFS 2020, this upgrade is actually free. Yes, guys, this, this upgrade is actually free. So there might have been a lot of, you know, background work required to, uh, to get this add-on from 2020 to 2024 because things might have changed, obviously. Um, but we have the experimental build release now, which for the most part, from what I tested, it works flawlessly. There's already been an update to the experimental build as well, and that works flawlessly as well um, with track IR because I use it with track IR. So yeah, this makes the value proposition of this add-on even more interesting right now. So in this video, we'll quickly go over what Chase Plane can do in MSFS 2024 and how it changes the overall flying experience and why it may genuinely be one of the best plays to spend $30 right now. So let's get into it without wasting any more time. Also, the single best way to support this channel is by liking and subscribing. I'm not going to ask you for any donations. I'm not going to ask you for a couple of coffees or anything. Just support the channel by liking and subscribing. If you don't feel like the content connects with you, you can always unsubscribe in the future. I'll highly appreciate your support on the channel. It helps the channel more than you think. Okay, I want to make this very quick and concise. So I'll start right away with the Chase Plane UI. So first of all, menu, you have four sections here. We are going to start with the main. Um, you have three sections in main. Uh, it completely overhauls the way camera system is set up in MSFS 2024. So you have internal cameras, you have external cameras, and then you have world cameras. And then uh, you have cinematics. Um, Starting from cinematics, if you click on cinematics or if you have a shortcut for that, it's going to start panning around the aircraft and give you some nice cinematic uh, views at the airport. And also when you're cruising, it's really good to have uh, this cinematic uh, option on. Uh, one of the uses, uh, use cases I see for cinematics is also to like help the OLED panels not burn in, I guess, during cruise if you're just stuck on one view there is a risk of uh, the panel burn-in so i always when when i was flying in 2020 i used to just always have this cinematic on so that you know the uh, pixel keep, keep pixels keep changing color and that's just my way of using it and the way of thinking of it but anyway that's cinematic for you and then you have clean set of internal external world and every section can have its own um, set of groups so for example pilot and co-pilot views for me are set up in the pilot group and each group you can have the camera either a, a human view or a mounted mounted means it will just be very stiff so it will not be impacted a whole lot by the external forces while for human you'll have option to edit the camera physics to you know have it have the view impact uh, from the external forces that are being thrown at it so you'll have like movements during the engine uh, spool up and uh, during taxi or takeoff you'll have touchdown subtle like touchdown impacts and all which we we'll look at it at the end of the video but everything is explained really well you don't need to like hunt around for information if you don't understand some impact or effect you can just click on this eye icon and it'll tell you exactly what it is okay then you have motion effects like thrust vibrations it's exaggerated a bit but usually it's going to be like out of the box it's going to be all set to 1x and then 
as you play around with things you can you can adjust uh, according to your liking there's also breathing impact right so if i exaggerate the breathing impact you'll see that the camera moves from uh, uh, pilot breathing so amazing like all kinds of you know uh, effects that you can you can play with the intensity and stuff so again look ahead is like if 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 the aircraft is let's say turning left you're going to the camera is going to slowly like pan to the left towards the direction where the aircraft is going so all all of these you know different effects that you can play with uh, i use it with track air so i usually don't like uh, the look ahead feature that much i tone it down quite a bit so anyway you have separate groups for each section so for example pilot is set up in pilot group mcp it's like all these instruments are set up in instrument group and you'll see that that is uh, stiff camera physics is stiff what that means is based on the external forces the camera will not react that much to the external forces uh, if i'm in this view i i want the camera to be stable so that i can click around and scroll and stuff like that to set up the instruments and that's why i've set it up that way now again it's it might seem a lot uh, might seem a little bit overwhelming in terms of like oh you know i have to set up all these views differently and all that don't worry about it first of all there's a tutorial Let's button here which will walk you through the whole ui flawlessly and it's amazing like the tutorial is amazing if you really don't understand what's going on here the the whole three minute and eight minute tutorial they are both amazing chase plane is also going to replace all your um, replace or delete all your default camera bindings which is amazing again it does it flawlessly there's no issues that i've seen with that as well um so yeah that's where i was internal external so if you choose external you start with the spot view right so you can use your mouse to just uh, pan around the aircraft like this which is the simplest way of just looking outside and seeing what's going on while uh, pushing back or taxiing or anything like that and you can again same way you can just click on this view shortcut you can set it up to any key on any of the devices that you have attached uh, to your PC um, it, it, it recognizes um, all the devices like for example let's say I want this view shortcut to be one of the hatch which is on my um, on my flight stick I, I just press button 20 and then you can just save and close and that's it so let's say if I am in the pilot mode I click button 20 that's it right away it goes to spot view so everything is super simple and even deleting an assignment is very easy just click this go back that's it it'll save your um, save your new you know config or whatever so yeah that's external and then you have chase view a bunch of different views obviously you can set up a new new view as you like you can either set it up or you can import it from community which we'll also look at that in a, in a little bit and then you have world views again you have this uh, usual drone view which we had by default there's also flyby view if let's say you just want to record a flyby or something and there's tower view nearest runway nearest parking all of this common stuff i don't think i'll use any of this uh, mostly i'm on spot view drone cinematic and all of these views inside the cockpit but again it's really good to have uh have this kind of ui and this kind of structure to the whole camera system because uh, one of the most important things in flight simulation is to have a good camera system we have seen easy dock we've seen chase plane on previous sims and, and that's something that <coughs> is 100 percent uh worth spending your money on like i have no doubts that uh, you will not regret uh, spending this thirty dollars and by the way i'm not paid by chase plane or whatever parallel 42 or um, anyone for that matter so if if i'm reviewing an add-on it's because i've bought it with my own money and, and that's why i say things if i don't like something i'm going to say it that hey this is not worth uh thirty dollars like i've said it on my 737 stream that uh if i uh, if i did not have the if i uh, if I had the 800 on 2020, I wouldn't have upgraded it for $30 uh, on 2024. Which I have the 700 for 2020, and I'm not going to 
upgraded for uh, 2024 for sure because I'm happy with this 800 that I bought anyway uh, went off topic that's not the topic for today now the second button here is groups so you can edit all the groups from here either by you can edit the groups either by clicking on the view and editing group here or you can just go to the groups directly and edit edit the groups here and by editing the groups I mean setting up things like do you want head tracking in that specific group of views how do you want the transition to happen uh, from one view to another what's the camera physics for that group motion effects for that group and you know name if you want to edit the name or add a new group or things like that so very self-explanatory nothing to really cover here so everything is well organized in these three sections so we have covered main and groups now the third one is community so it will detect your aircraft and it will show you all the views that other people have uploaded and this is again very very impressive the way they have implemented it you can just click on this and it will directly change your camera to this camera so now you can choose whether you want to or not want to Im import this into your set of views and to import it into your set of views you can just click on this and then you can click on import selected views and that's it if you go back to the main menu which again you have this small icon that pushes you back to the main menu if you go down you will see that now you have this pilot landing view if you want to delete that view you can just delete it right here so my point here is that you don't really have to even set up your own views because people would have done it and you just need to like click on each one of those whatever you like and then just import it that's all you need to do it will also come in just detecting your aircraft it's going to come in with a set of views anyway and then if you want new views from people um, you can just come to community and download views from here so very intuitive very usable and i just don't know what to say man it's 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 a work of art it's a work of art and then you have preferences uh, again very clean um, very clean set of like uh, menu options here where you can assign buttons for camera movements camera actions chase plane features like cinematic mode binocular flashlight stuff like that so anything that you would have not assigned in the initial tutorial phase you can come in here and assign right away okay but yeah it's it's just amazing and then you have a major like control profile um, section here where let's say if you feel like your panning is too slow you can always just uh, uh, make it like very fast and it will it will make your rotation and position panning speed stuff like that faster than it was i leave it at just medium i think yeah that's what my setting is uh but yeah i hope you get the point it's this this add-on really doesn't deserve a full-blown tutorial or anything because everything is just so much intuitive setting up views setting up shortcuts you know moving around the airplane everything is just crisp and clean and sleek anyway i'm gonna leave you to a couple of clips of takeoff and landing and you can see how the camera movements kind of bring the whole sim to life especially during landings so stick around for that and if you like these kind of uh, videos if you're into flight simulation and aviation like i've said the only way to support my channel is by liking and subscribing i will not ask for anything more from you guys and i will see you on the next one thank you guys for sticking around and thank you for all the support we are really close to 10,000 subscribers when I made this channel, I would not have thought that this channel would even go to like 1000 subscribers because I was just here to uh, share whatever I'm buying on, on, my, on my flight sim hobby, basically. So yeah, thank you all for whoever has been there since the beginning, whoever's joining new, welcome. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Stick around for the uh, takeoff and landing clips to um, you know, show you guys what Chase Plane does to the camera physics and stuff have a good weekend have a good 
uh, time with your family during the holidays and see you on the next video.